All right, today we're gonna be making carbonara. So get a large mixing bowl and crack three eggs in one egg yolk and set that aside for later. Now we're gonna talk about cheese. Classic recipes are gonna call for Pecorino Romano, which is a cheese made from sheep's milk. I like to do about three ounces altogether, two parts Pecorino Romano, one part Parmesan. After shredding all the cheese, now we're gonna begin to blend these eggs. Now, I would suggest you do this after you start cooking your pasta, and that's just because you don't wanna let this egg mixture sit for too long, otherwise it can begin to separate. After that's completed, mix in your cheese, and then you can set this aside for later. So an optional step when making your carbonara is adding a protein to the pasta. Now, classic recipes are gonna call for guanciale, but you can really use any pork-based meat you want for this pasta. I'm using pancetta here, but you can also use prosciutto if you want. The simple goal is we're just trying to crisp up the pancetta while also leaving a little bit of fat in the pan to provide flavor later on. Now, most important step is to make sure you cook the meat before you cook the pasta. You wanna let the pan cool down, otherwise you may have scrambled eggs in your pasta. We're gonna cook the pasta until al dente, and then once completed, put it directly into the pan with that pancetta fat from earlier. Then take about half your cheese mixture and begin stirring immediately. The reason we took the pasta directly out of the pot is that the heat of the pasta is actually going to be the element that's cooking the eggs. It also allows us to have a full pot of pasta water in case we need to loosen up the mixture a little bit. For final steps, you can season to taste with salt and pepper, and then give the pasta a little flip just to aerate the sauce. For plating, I wanna create a nice nest here, so what I'm doing is just twirling the pasta in a soup ladle, and then placing directly in the bowl. Take your pancetta from earlier, place it on top, and there you have it, carbonara. If you guys liked the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.